about six, seven years ago, I think it was, I came down with Lyme disease myself and never saw a tick bite, never saw a bullseye rash, never pulled a tick off myself. I just got sick. And I remember it was right after the winter, there was still snow on the ground. And so it wasn't even on my radar that I had Lyme disease. I just had a lot of joint pain. I had a lot of sleeplessness, a lot of nervous system issues. And so I ran some conventional blood work and nothing really showed up. I said, well, maybe I'll check for Lyme because, you know, we do live in, we live in Connecticut and I treat a lot of Lyme in my practice and I can observe it for other patients. But when it comes to yourself, it's a little bit harder. So um, I started, I ran a, I ran a test and sure enough, it came back positive. And I said, okay, I'm going to have to deal with this. And so I put myself on the protocol that I use with a lot of my patients. And right around that time, uh, Stephen Buhner, it was interesting, he was offering a, a, a talk, a seminar, not too far from where I live. And so we went, I went to the seminar and lo and behold, I saw Dr. Hinchy was there and we hadn't seen each other. We went to school actually together. We actually went to undergrad together. We were a couple years apart. And then we went to medical school and we were a couple years apart. So it was great seeing her. And so we sat down and we start talking, talking to each other about our stories. And her story was like the mirror image of mine. She actually had Lyme disease as well. And she was following up and doing some of the Buner protocol as well with herself and with patients. And so after listening to Stephen talk, um, you know, we kind of commiserated about the difficulty in finding a lot of the herbs just as uh, Dr. Hinchy pointed out. And a lot of these, and then when, we, when he did his talk, he actually went through a slew of other herbs that we had never even heard of yet that he was, talk, that he was researching and was gonna put in his second update to his book. So we got firsthand knowledge right there, then and there. And that's when we said, okay, we need to really start looking into some of these other herbs and some of these other treatments. And so that's how Lyme Corps was pretty much born. We, we, we sat down and said, we could do this. We can, let's source, let's find the raw material. Let's put, put this, the products together and design some combination products, standalone products so that we can start, we make sure that we always have a steady supply. That was the key thing. And so um, that's where we started. And we started with just one product and uh, it kind of blew up from there. Now we have, I don't know how many products we have in our, in our arsenal. We have a lot though.